Another month, another crate. Hello and welcome back to another Japan Crate video. Today is February 2023 edition. Uh, and it's actually the first in like four or five months now that isn't that doesn't have like a special decoration on it. I've kind of missed the plain red Japan Crate box. So as always, we're gonna very quickly take a look. It says Japan Crate there. That is their social medias, they're on TikTok. Okay, cool. Uh, and that's their website, which I'll link below. Nothing below. Uh, right, I'm gonna go tear this open and I'll BRB. All right, it has been torn open, time to open it. What's this? Uh, so actually, just before recording this video, uh, I was about to throw out an old Japan Crate thing and I forgot this is at the bottom. If you remember from the uh, October Halloween Japan Crate, it's like hand tattoos. So I thought I'd put a hand tattoo on my hand for this because I promised I'd do it a while ago and then I completely forgot. Uh, so uh, th this is kind of like a reverse Deidara for Naruto. Uh, the the hands on the the back of my hand, not my palm. I should have put it on my palm. I regret this decision. I'll break and I can't. I can't go back on it. Um, right. So anyway, as with before, I'm gonna pull. Oh, this. Uh, we have a surprise for you from Japan. Crate. Let me check the back real quick. Okay. This. I think this is still the February. Crate. Let me let me check. Oh, maybe maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Okay. Um. So apparently this is. It's been upgraded to a lucky crate. So it's like a fukubukuro, uh, or a lucky bag. So as I state here, in Japan at the end of the year, it's kind of traditional for a lot of stores to have like lucky bags, um, and some of them have like really high values and stuff. And so my box has been upgraded. Apparently. Uh, could have stuff like Japanese chips, ramen, Kit Kats, Japanese candy, stationery, drinks, and kawaii items. Um, wait, so this is full of mystery items. Is this not the February crate? Because I can't feel I can't feel a cheat sheet anywhere unless it's like below. But cool, I can also feel something really interesting. So I'm, I'm going to leave that till the end. So I don't know if this is the February 2023. Japan crate. Um, we're going to open it up and without the cheat sheet, I'm not going to know where these are, am I? <laughs> okay, this is a real lucky bag. Ooh, <gasps> yo, let's. Dude, oh my god, this, what a combo to start off with. So, Ariel, if you've. Um... If, if you've seen my previous one, this is cheddar cheese, cheddar cheese. Uh, oh, it says there, I always do this, I never read the English. So, Aerial Cheddar Cheese is one of my favourite potato chips in the history of ever. And this is a Gundam The Witch from Mercury theme. Actually, is it The Witch from Mercury? I'm guessing it is, because it's like, yeah, we... No, uh, I don't actually know. Uh, I'm going to quickly check the back. Okay, this is definitely Witch from Mercury. So I've not watched it yet, but that's Suleta, uh, and that's Gundam Aerial. Dude, so I've got some Gundam potato chips. Wow, okay, I don't know the name of that suit. As I said, I haven't seen Witch from Mercury yet, but it looks a little bit like Sazabi, uh, which I'm all for. Okay, so these are really nice. They're like cheddar cheese potato chips with like various, um, various kind of like layers. Uh, oh, next up, I do believe we had this last, uh, last time, right? This is mini peach. So I want to say it was mint last time. Uh, it's like a, uh, a plastic tube with lots of little mint things in. Um, obviously this is probably going to be a bit of a quicker video because I won't have to like look up the names of stuff. Okay, I feel something familiar. Ooh, we got some Kit Kat. We got... Oh dear, this is in kanji. Um, so we've got Oto Na Something Kanji Ra. And then Bisuketo something something re me. <laughs> um, I want to say this is green tea, right? Or like mint, maybe? I genuinely don't know. Um, if anyone in the comments knows what flavour this is, I've, I've still not learned my kanji. I really should get around to that, but I think that looks like mint, because it's like... Mint leaves? Mint green tea, maybe? Man, so far, this lucky box thing has been... Ooh, ooh okay, more interesting stuff. Let's 
Hang on, there's like small little things. So we've got some bubble gum. Is that like themed after anything? Ah, yes, it is. It's, um, oh, I can't remember. We got a DIY kit last month. The uh, candy, you can make your own little buddy. Uh, I can't remember the name of them though, but they're very cute. That's very nice. I always appreciate these little chewing gum things. We've also got Kuraku. Oh, Cracker! Uh, oh dear, oh. It's definitely lived up his name to a crack, unfortunately. Crack. Oh, it says Cracker. Good lord, second time in this video now. Um, I'm guessing this is like a regular Senbi kind of thing, like a rice cracker or something. Very cool though. Uh, right, next up, I'm going after like the little things, because I can feel like a few, you know, little things. Ooh. Oh, wait, is this, I don't know if this is Han no Chi Chi Desu. Um, don't know if this is a sweet or like something. I'll put that to the side for a second. Aha, we have Reggi Chi Choco. Mugi Choco? That's a bit hard to read. Uh, it feels like small candies, like chocolate candy. It definitely says Choco there, so. Uh, oh, right. Okay. I, hang on. Um, th there's lots of like little things in here that I'm, I'm very curious about. Um, okay, so that is. Donut biscuit, or a donut biscuit. I guess it's like a biscuit that kind of looks like a donut with the wrapping, with like the sprinkles. That's cool. That's a little biscuit thing. I just picked this up. Kanpai. Kanpai. Is this like a beer mug with little kanpai? Yeah, there we are. And that is Ramune. Ramune. Okay, cool. So like, that is adorable. So it's like Ramune mints or Ramune candies or whatever in like in a glass that has like fake beer form. And they, I'm definitely keeping this. This will go like great with action figures or whatever. Man, this lucky bag thing has been really cool. This uh, was very unexpected because I was like a little bit confused. It's like why is this turned up so early? after January's one, but no I know. Hey, we got Fue, um, Fue Ramune, I think. Fue Ramune, yeah, there we are. So these are, um, oh, are these the like chewy ones actually? These these may be the same ones we got from January as well. So they're whistle candies, but they're chewy and they're not crunchy, if that makes sense, for lack of a better word. Ooh. Oh, wait a second, masking tape. Oh, dude. Oh, we got really cute cat things. We got like cats and stuff. That is adorable. Uh, oh, there we are. We got a panda. We got like a swirl. We got um, a cat. I think that's, is that a dog or a bear? Uh, it's, wow. Okay, this is very interesting. So yeah, this really is a Fukubukuro, which is, um, I, I did get one years ago from J-List, uh, a non-NSFW one. Uh, they had like Dragon Ball stuff in and that was really cool. Um, and I start, what is this? I am, yo, is this ramen? Oh my God, dude, this is, this is chicken ramen, chicken ramen. Dude, ramen, okay. I have never had ramen from a Japan crate before. I mean, they don't typically put ramen in a Japan crate, so it makes sense. Oh, and it's by Nissin, actually. Nissin make very nice ramen. Uh, very cool. Right, I'm gonna have to incorporate some of these into the Japanese snack reviews that I'm doing, like, later on. Um, I may have, oh, where was the, tell you what. Let, no, not that one. Let's open this up quickly. Uh, I'm going to just tear into it, uh, well not tear into it, I'm going to open it politely and see what's inside. Alright, I've opened it up. It might be chocolate. Ah, it is! It's a heart! It's a chocolate heart. Um, right, well in this case I've opened it up now, so I'm going to go eat this chocolate heart, I guess. Hmm, that was really nice. That was quite rich. Uh, kind of like rich milk chocolate. I feel like there was also a little bit of a flavouring. I, I want to say maybe with strawberry chocolate. 
but I do find Japanese flavoured chocolates a little bit harder to make out the taste of because their general chocolate tastes quite a bit different to our regular chocolates. Let, ooh, yo, more ramen, let's go. So this is Goma Cookie Ramen, that says ramen. I, I genuinely can't read this. Um, oh God, oh, and the rest is in kanji. Um, this is cool, I think, Kenko. Um, if anyone can read this, that's Ro, right? And that's Go. I, go, Go Ma Ro Ki, I, I genuinely couldn't tell you. Um, again, let me know in the comments if anyone can read this. I, I don't know, I find it really hard reading Kana that's like stylized. Some I can kind of read, but like that is hard. Maybe that's Ma? Or... I, I, I don't know. Uh, but more ramen? Absolutely. Good lord, this has been a heck of a crate. Right, what is this? Ooh. Uh, this is a marker pen. A marker pen? Is it? It's a, it's a gummy bear. But it... Uh, I Okay, you'd like take... Oh, you take its head off, I guess? I'll open this at the end and we'll take a look at it. Um, that is the Jelly Bear Marker Pen. Fair enough. Uh, right. Ooh. The... Ooh. Yo, let's go. Almond Crush Pocky. Dude. This is... And this is like the... the well, I mean, all Pocky is nice, to be honest. But this is like the fancy Pocky. You can tell because the like, box is different. It's got some shininess. Dude. Okay. Almond Crush Pocky. Let's go. Ah. He's, there's, there's a there's a gentleman handing a pocky to someone. Who is he handing it to? Ah, oh, is this maybe like this is like a present you'd give? So like two from. Um, but I'm not going to give this to anyone. I'm going to eat this myself. Ha 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 ha! Right. We don't have too much left. Although saying that, there's like ooh. Oh, this. Uh, this is umai. Actually, is it umai bo? Is this like the fancy one? Uh, that it says foo, and the rest is kanji. Uh, wow, oh, okay, hang on. No, all of that is kanji as well. That's, oh god, I feel really out of my depth here. Actually, if it is an umaibo kind of stick, it's clearly like chocolate or cinnamon, maybe? Oh, hang on, wait a second. Okay, never mind, that says homepage address. Homepage address. Uh, okay, that's their website. Again, if anyone can read this, let me know. I mean, you know, I will be eating some of these in the Japanese snack reviews, so don't worry too much. But, you know, if you happen to know, we have Fettuccine. Fettuccine Gummy. Sorry, I, I was trying to... I, that doesn't make sense, but then it's all Fettuccine. Um, I want to say, I think these featured in a previous one, but these are like grape flavour Fettuccine kind of... Um, sweet fettuccine, because I think fettuccine is like a type of pasta, right? Let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong about that as well. Uh, ooh, next up. Ooh, oh, yo, we have shimikon. Um, shimikon. Yeah, so this is the chocolate. I think this is the one that tastes of rainbow or rainbow flavour. It's like, ah, yeah, I know what that is. But no, the, these are really nice, actually. They're, um... So usually they come in little star pieces, but this is like a long star, if that makes sense, instead of being chopped up. Very nice though, absolutely, uh, I will take that. So we've got like one or two more things, I want to say. Uh, right, okay, so the penultimate one is a drink. Uh, it's by Morinaga, that is good. Uh, oh, good lord, uh, hang on. Tsu Fu something Ri? Right? Maybe? Uh, kanji? What's the kanji? Kanji kanji? Uh, hang on. Aji Y. That brings me no closer to the truth. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna guess maybe it's strawberry milk flavour. Uh, that is the nearest to my assumption. Uh, but I will always take a can of something to drink. I'm very curious about this. There are the little like, 
uh, flower petals as well. And the last thing got me very cute. Oh, never mind. Hang on. There is. Oh. Oh, it's a charm. Oh, it's a bookmark. Bookmark and f fusion. F what? Bookmark and fusen. Uh, oh, oh, I see. These are like peelable things. Um, they're like. I guess you could use them as bookmarks, actually. Yeah. It's a very cute fox. And also very new Japanese New Year themed. That is really cool, actually. That's kind of like a. Uh, I mean, that's the bookmark. I guess these are the like. They're kind of like sticky notes or whatever. Um, but they're very cute as well. That That is adorable. That is very nice. And it's, you know, it is traditionally Japanese. It's clearly from Japan because. I <laughs> I can't read anything. Um, and I think the final item... Oh! Ah, wait. Have I been an idiot? No. No, it's fine. I haven't been an idiot. Uh, the final item... <laughs> is... This is incredible. This... Uh, hang on. Tachan! This... Is it a tea towel? I want to say... So Tachan probably is the cat, right? I'm guessing. Uh, and this, wow, yeah, this is like a tea towel or dust cloth, I suppose. I felt this, because this is like right on the top. And I was like, ooh, ooh, why is there fabric in here? This is strange. Um, and then I thought maybe it was a Fukubuka or like bag thing. But that, that is great. That is really cool. Right. Okay, um... I'm going to put everything back into here and like we'll go over it at the end, so um, BRB. Alright, so uh, I've kind of laid everything out. Um, it was hard to put everything in the box, so there's a few things to the side. And as I mentioned, I am going to open this up quickly, because I'm super curious to see how this bear turns into a pen. I think I was right in saying his head comes off. But, oh, yeah, it definitely does, because there's... Oh, 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 dear, hang on. <laughs> okay, that did not go well. Oh, it's kind of interesting, because he does feel jelly-like, if that... Like, you can kind... You can kind of see the reflections. It's like... It's not rubber, but it's like rubberized plastic or something. Uh, and, of course, there is the yellow nib of the pen there. Very interesting. Um, wow. Well, th honestly, this is something um, I can't really, like, review. Because this is just, I presume, a freebie. Or, well, or maybe a freebie? I don't know. Um, but I have essentially received a free Japan crate um, on top of my Japan crate. That, it, wow. I, I genuinely just did not expect this. I know they've done a lot of offers over the years, um, over the last few months. A few of you co have commented and let me know, oh, hey, you know, you didn't get this freebie or this freebie. And I think it's just because I hadn't subscribed within that window, if that makes sense. Because I think I've got like a three month renewal thing going on. Um, and I think it only really counts if you're like a new subscriber or something. But you know, I, I that's not why I get these. I get these because I really love the snacks. But man, I am I am really really happy with everything here. The 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 like cheddar cheese aerial like Gundam themed is sort of the combination of two things I love into one. That's there's so much going on here. Um, this really is a little bit like Christmas to be honest. It's kind of like. Something you didn't expect with loads of really cool things. Definitely going to be using that dishcloth. That is adorable. There's just a ton of stuff. Um, and yeah, with some of them, like the ramen uh, and the drink, I still don't know what those are. Let me know in the comments if you do know what those are. Um, I know I've had quite a few comments from Mr. Naughty Cat. Shout out to you. You do uh, like drop comments and let me know about the stuff that I'm unaware of. I'm always appreciative of your comments, so if you happen to know what these are, please let me know. Um, but yeah, that man, this is really cool. I'm, I'm kind of lost for words. Um, I will be featuring some of these in my Japanese snack reviews, definitely the ramens. I probably won't be doing the aerial thing because I've done the cheddar cheese ones before in one of my previous ones, but I mean, 
That's some cool packaging. Um, I'm just going to keep going around in a loop of gushing now, so and I'll let you get on with it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Sorry I didn't have more info on these things. This is fully unplanned. I will see you soon for the February one, I think, hopefully. I don't know how this is working anymore. Um, but right, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.